cyber, cafe, business, idea. Is it a profitable business? Also, how much capital do you need for you to start a cyber cafe business? I am in Bungoma town and as you know, I've been having conversations with business people for you to understand how different businesses are undertaken and right now I am a Sharif Center in Bungoma where I have seen an awesome cyber cafe here as you can see all around here we have cyber cafe here where people can come to browse can come here to print their documents to do scannings to do lamination you name it and so I'm here with a gentleman the owner of this particular place and us to have a conversation Vipi bro Poor son. Kwa jina wanaitwa nani? Terence Sudi. Terence Sudi. Yeah. Ni mwana hapo kwa na cyber cafe ngine nzuri sana. Mm -hmm. Very compact. Yeah. Strategically located. Guys, what this cyber cafe is very strategic. Kangalia huko nje is directly to the highway there near the county assembly area here at Sharif Center at the entrance. Biz na kupelekaje? Biz si mbaya sana. Mhm. Mm mm. Ilikuwa mbaya kidogo but tuko tuna recover ilikuwa mbaya time eh, gani time ya covid man time ya covid tu <laughs> vile ilikuwa ililima kulima kabisa <laughs> ilitutuanga eh yeah but we are recovering right now you are recovering yeah, mm. yeah. so yeah. for this biz mm -hmm. the you have uh, if i can say a good number of machines and equipments eh? mm -hmm. eh, ndio mtu anzisha cyber what are the basic minimums mtu anahitaji kuanzisha cyber cafe mm, one should have at least a computer mm -hmm. or a laptop mm -hmm. and then have a printer Mm -hmm. Even a basic printer, an A4 printer you can start with. An A4 printer? Yeah. Even a basic one? Eh? Yeah. And like the one behind one, us here? Yeah, like this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you should have uh, a laminator. Mm -hmm. Like that one. Laminator yeah. is what? This one here? This one, yeah. This here is the laminator. You see that? That's the laminator. Eh? You should have a laminator and then you have a binding machine. Mm -hmm. Binding there. machine? Yeah. So guys, Yile Apple Jew, that's the binding machine. Uh -huh. And then the computers I've talked about. The computers, this one here. And then you should have the materials eh, for the work. The materials. So mm. I can just show them that the, the different packages, yeah. envelopes, the papers, envelopes, staplers. Staplers. This other side you have the printing things. Yeah. The toners and so forth. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. So umesema vitu ambavyo mtu anahitaji. For a person out there who's watching, I'm mm -hmm. very sure any adult out there in Kenya, I'm in the cyber cafe. You're in fact. Eh? Yeah. Kutengeza the ID, kare pin, mm -hmm. e-citizen, you name it. Eh? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about maybe roughly a ballpark how much it be for someone to begin a cyber cafe. Mm -hmm. Because working with, for example, a, just a modest printer, mm -hmm. a, a modest a, lamination machine, nini, nini, even like three computers maybe, for a small size cyber cafe. We're talking about roughly how much mm -hmm. capital. If you'll have about a hundred, you'll be very comfortable to start. Because you know, because you soon as you will have to have the licenses, you know, mm. to carry mm. yeah. mm. With that, you can start very peacefully. I would have almost thirty k licenses. Yeah, uh, licenses, business premises, rent, mm, deposit. Yeah. Mm. Business at a pita happen. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So you're talking about just you sorting the other administrative issues. Mm. Have at least up upwards of eighty k. Yeah. To begin. Yeah. After you sort the other manuals, you register your business, you have mm. a place you can put your equipment and branding and so forth. Start with at least an ATK Quendela for a small one. And another question which I'm pretty sure also viewers out there are interested in Nikua Hibis. Hibis equal a kipato, Mutan Zapata Kituaku, maybe kum keep going by the day to invest. Ama Iko Vipi. Okay, as uh, since kwa nimeongea je economy kwa mbaya. Mm -hmm. Before yeah, ungeweza weka kitu kidogo kwa mfuko but now mm -hmm. you have to plow back sana mm -hmm. so as we are recovering to keep it going. Yeah, to keep you going. Mm -hmm. So sa hizi mainly ukipata kitu maybe you have to ba, kitu kama tona imeisha you have to replace karatasi zilipanda bei nini nini. Mm -hmm. But you having something extra in your pocket it's quite hard mm -hmm. sa hizi. Mm. Uh, Saini so survival basis. So Just, survival. Mm, yeah. Mm. But Simbaya Wakati Mambo Iko Mzuri, at least you can keep something on the side. Mm. Mm. Fanya yako, kama una diversify kwa ukulima, kwa mm. vitu zingine, you can do that. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one of the last questions I have for you yeah. ni kwa hii biashara, challenges do you uh, face day to day? Uh, challenges mainly ni 
vitu materials like papers mm -hmm. yeah, leo tamuka unapata ni 500 baada ya siku mbili ukienda utapata ni 600 and you know where clients anajua ni bay flani of course mimi kama mimi kama <laughs> you photocopy a yeah. three bob in three bob yeah wewe kama unajua ni three ama ni five ni hiyo mm -hmm. so client akija umwambie hey karatasi imepanda so mm -hmm. don't know maneno Mm. Yeah that's normally the main challenge and then tuna challenges kama internet because we tunatumia ah. internet sana so ile so fluctuation ile fluctuation ha. yeah yeah ina kuanga challenge kidogo uh -huh. lakini mainly ina kuanga to the materials the materials fluctuate yeah price ya materials and then vitu kama toners basically panda and mm. then squeeze kuna vitu kama toners kuna zile fake fake unajua yeah they can really mess up zina your, mess up your, your machine production. and then yeah mm. Hiyo ni shida sana. I see, I see. And so as I look to conclude uh, this interview bwana Sudi, mm -hmm. eh, I've already shared people why you are, yeah. but kindly be more specific. Eh, maybe out there there's maybe even a uh, office client somewhere, maybe mm -hmm. large scale production, they require maybe papers in, maybe documents in bulk. Mm -hmm. How can they get you? Okay. Wapi physically and also kwa mtandao wa online wanakupata wapi? Okay, mimi niko Sharif Center, ukikuja kwa main gate, the cyber is directly Ukiingia that is shop number three. Shop number three. Yeah, imeandikwa Velvet Technologies. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndio tunapatikana. Mm -hmm. Naweza peana namba ya simu kaini, ya kaini. biashara. Yeah, biashara namba yako ni gani? 0732957625. Kindly rudia wasikie. 0732957625625. Yeah. Haya, asante sana bro nashukuru. Mm -hmm. Eh so bila tumesema you've learned about the cyber business. Eh una require how much kwanza? Even so, for you to keep going, you need to find nini. And most importantly, you need to contact the Saudi. In case you are around Bungoma town, other city town, peke yake, other people may be looking at you, chwele. You can be having kazi in bulk. Kindly, after you are around Saudi, you have his number. Yeah. He'll sort you anything related to printing, scanning, photocopying, laminating, design. After you are around Saudi, here he'll sort you. Asante sana bro. Ah, karibu sabi.